And here comes here comes Rich, you know, it's local guy, Team Jukau. But also recently hooked up with Chris Barnett. And now UFC. for the fighters for our upcoming contest. Making his way to the blue corner, Richard Cloud Hammer. Another, another fan favorite. He, uh, I like to follow Richard on his social media to see what he's doing, to see how his training goes. He's an interesting, colorful character. And it's hard not to root for a guy like that. You know, it, it is, and it's nice to see him on this card. His last opponent pulled out with not too much notice because of a travel issue. He's gonna try to come from the West Coast. You know, Kenny Carrera was a the guy they were going back and forth on social media, like, you know, joking about like fighting each other. You know, Rich, this he says this is his last fight. Kenny's a young guy, you know. He said old lion, young lion, and it ended up being that way because his opponent dropped and Kenny Carrera stepped up and took this fight. Both these guys are fighting up in weight classes. We know Rich made his debut as a middleweight. He's fighting as a light heavyweight right now. Kenny Carrera had to gain weight. He posted pictures on his social media of like all kinds of junk food he's been eating to, <laughs> to help thicken up. So when you look at that situation, when, it, when an athlete is gaining pounds, gaining weight, and he's not doing it the healthiest of ways, does that, does that inhibit performance in a situation like this? I mean, like it this? can. Kenny is so young, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he can still get away with that. You see Patty Pimblett do things like that all the time. You know, again, he gets back down to weight. But, I mean, you know, when you're younger, it's a lot more forgiving. Uh, Rich has been carrying this weight a little bit longer. He fought uh, Cage Wars champion Jose Catascaro at light heavyweight a bunch of cards ago. You know, so he's been competing at a little bit heavier weight. Well, I like to follow Richard Cloudhammer, all of his stuff on Insta and his socials. Like I said, he's a very engaging guy. Um, the last fight that we called didn't end so well for him, so I'm sure he wants to get back into the win column. And you're saying this is it, win or lose? He, this would be? That's what he's saying. You kind know? of hard to think that if he were to win tonight that that would be the end. But he kind of started doing this. He had competed in jiu-jitsu for a while. He wanted to do this as the experience, you know? Uh, he's not somebody who wanted to go pro. He's older. He's over 40. Um, you know, he just loves the experience in the process. Good for him. I love that. It's a great story. And now we do see him in the shin guards. He, he has competed with advanced rules, but since Kenny has only had one MMA competition, he has done a kickboxing fight, but you need to have two MMA fights to have advanced rules. So, you know, uh, Richard is fighting the novice rule set for this card. We're waiting for his opponent, Kenny Carrera, coming out of MV MMA. And his opponent making his way to the red corner. Kenny Correa. Kenny Correa making his way down to the cage. You see Cat Daddy, Kyle Kaler, Al Morrow, Cage Wars veterans and champions, Duff Holmes, you know, owner and head coach of MV MMA, former coach of many UFC fighters, including Matt Hamill. You know, this young man is gonna be prepared. Even though he took the fight on a relatively short notice, I have no doubt he's gonna come in here looking for this win. Now you look at his record 0-1. Do you know anything about the history of, of, of the loss for Kenny Correa? Uh, he lost to Med Sabai. He, he came out really hard. Med Sabai was a little bit better technically. Um, but again, you know, he's had a kickboxing fight as well, which he won. So this young man is coming to win. He's not coming here just to fill a card spot to help Rich out, you know, so Rich can be on the card. He's coming to get this win. And now you've seen, we've seen Richard Cloudhammer a, a bunch of times. You've spoken on Kenny Carrera. W what do you think we can expect in the first couple of minutes here? I expect Kenny to want to push the pace, make it a dog fight, and it's going to be up to Rich to establish distance and slow the pace down. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo for the official announcement. Our upcoming contest on the card for Cage Wars 57, scheduled for three three-minute rounds in our 205-pound division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in last night at 205 pounds, representing Team Zhukow out of Scotia by way of Athens, Georgia. Richard Cloud Hammer. Well. We know who they love. <laughs> and his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in last night at 201 pounds, representing Mohawk Valley Mixed Martial Arts out of New Hartford, New York, Kenny Ma 
manos de piedra, Korea. We have two very. The man in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Mr. Laszlo Hoove. I, I got. I'm excited for this one. Uh, we have two very colorful athletes in there. I'm gonna set the uh, over under again, one and a half rounds. Yeah. You know, what do you think? I, I would agree. I don't, do I don't see it going to three. Either it's going to end with a knockout or somebody's going to submit. You know, Rich has got to slow this down, keep it distance. Don't, you know, don't allow Kenny to make it a dog fight like that. Kenny wants to fight in a phone booth. Richard may have already tasted some power early on here. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did, right? He, he definitely did. Yep. Kenny throws heavy hands. Rich has got to keep that head up if he's going to throw those hands. Yeah, you don't you don't want to see that. Yeah, especially because Kenny's good with his uppercuts. Okay, Richard's got to fight back because he's being watched and he's okay, but he's taking oh, this some may big be punishment, it. and that is it. That's it. Okay. That's impressive there by Kenny Correa, and he's pumped. Kenny Correa has some very heavy hands, and, and you know, as I said, he wanted to make this a dog fight. He wanted to make this, you know, a fight in a phone booth. He wanted to, to make it a dog fight, and he did just that. It's good to see Richard Cloudhammer back on his feet, shaking it off a little bit. There's no doubt, there's no doubt that he, that he got popped and, and he's feeling the effects, but that was a, an onslaught by Kenny Correa from the moment the, of the opening bell. It, it really was. Uh, you know, Kenny did a good job dictating the pace, taking center control, you know, reacting to what Richard was giving him, throwing the uppercuts when Rich put the head down, stepping off and angling when he needed to to continue his striking. Just a beautiful job from this young man and he earned that first win. Well, you hate to see it end that way for Richard Cloudhammer, but you know, you talked about him challenging himself and he, him wanting to do it. There's there's something to be said for, you know, some some people are like, I'm, I'm gonna go for the triathlete. You know, yep. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do this, that, or that. I'm gonna go back and get my degree. At age 35 or 40, to enter the cage here, to take this kind of abuse and punishment, to, to give yourself a, a test, he passed with flying colors, despite what happened here in round one. He did, you know, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. He did what he wanted to do. Let's give it up for these two great fighters, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Laszlo Hufe has called a stop to the fight 41 seconds into round number one for your winner by way of TKO, Kenny Manos de Piedras Correa.